Bangladesh, Belarus, Belgium, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Bulgaria, Cambodia, Kampuchea, Cameroon, China, Colombia, Cuba, Egypt, El Salvador, Ethiopia, Fiji, France, Georgia, Germany, Hong Kong, India, Indonesia, Iran, Iraq, Ireland, Israel, Japan, Kenya, Korea, South Korea, Kuwait, Laos, Latvia, Lebanon, Malawi, Malaysia, Mexico, Morocco, Nepal, Nicaragua, Nigeria, Pakistan, Peru, Philippines, Poland, Portugal, Romania, Russia, Saudi Arabia, Serbia and Montenegro, Sierra Leone, Singapore, Slovakia, Somalia, South Africa, Sri Lanka, Sudan, Sweden, Taiwan, Tajikistan, Thailand, Ukraine, United Kingdom, Venezuela, Vietnam, Yugoslavia, those whose place of origin I did not call, please stand. <laughs> I know that you have waited for a long time to get to this final step in your quest for United States citizenship. Now, your waiting is over. Within a short time, you will all become citizens of the greatest nation on earth, the United States of America. So, without further delay, it is my privilege to present to the administrative officer of this oath ceremony 425 applicants for naturalization from 66 counties. Each applicant has been examined by a USCIS officer and found to be eligible for naturalization. I now would like to introduce the presiding officer of this naturalization ceremony. Please welcome our field office director, Ms. Carol Keller. Congratulations to you all. To the folks that are taking the oath of allegiance today, you should have the sheet in your packet. If it makes it easier, you're welcome to read along with me. I need you all to raise your right hand, and then I need you to repeat after me. I hereby declare on oath that I absolutely and entirely renounce and abjure all allegiance and fidelity to any foreign prince, potentate, state or sovereignty of whom or which I am here to for subject or citizen, that I will support and defend the Constitution and 
and laws of the United States of America, against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I will bear arms on behalf of the United States when required by the law, that I will perform non-combatant service in the armed forces of the United States when required by the law, that I will perform work of national importance under civilian direction when required by the law, and that I take this obligation freely, without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. So help me God. Okay. Congratulations, you're now here. First roles as a United States citizen. Congratulations again. As we have a willing participant here that's going to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Would Maria Isabel Hart please come up to the stand? So as she reads the Pledge of Allegiance, if you can place your right hand over the left side of your heart and face the flag, please. Everybody can stand, including those up in the uh, ball.